Hey guys, now it's repair time. Some while ago, a colleague of mine brought me this dirty black box, a uh, silver box. Um, again, a friend of him gave it to him and asked if he could take a look because this thing doesn't work anymore. It's quite big here. Yeah? It has a lot of connectors. Same here, a lot of stuff. I have absolutely no schematic, nothing. Very little information on the internet. At the end, he brought it to me, my colleague brought it to me and asked me if I can check it. He said they connected it on the wrong voltage. I don't know how they did it and it doesn't work anymore. After a search in the internet, I found that this thing is a ECU, electronic control unit, for a tractor. Yes, for a tractor. And this is the number or the what the name of it is. It is quite a long DUSFA, blah, blah, something. Yeah. With that, you can find something on the internet. Anyway. I opened it. Yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff here. This is the high power input varistors, MOVs. We have here some solid state high side relays. VN05N. Let's check the. These are the varistors. The ZA series from Little Fuse. These are the high side switches. The Pentawatt enclosure package. This is old stuff. Um, the whole thing seems to be from somewhere in the 90s, mid 90s, mid end 90s. Uh, at that time, they loved this kind of uh, packaging. If you continue further, we see they have a big beast here. That's a microcontroller from Infineon. I will show you the data sheet in a while, in a, in a moment. It's a 16-bit microcontroller with uh, not impressive, just a lot of I.O. And the ADC, it, it has eight ADCs, eight-bit ADCs. Continuing in here a little bit near more. Let's turn it around like that. We have a whole bunch of analog multiplexers. 4051, that's eight to one multiplexers and below that 74HC165 it's parallel to serial shift registers additionally we have a flash 2 megabit flash and I think it is a 1 megabit 265 by 8 or by yeah by 8 uh, static RAM the only interesting chip for me at least is this the one? I hope you can see it. It's an ADC 12138. It's an SPI ADC with eight inputs. Let me show you the data sheets. That's the Infineon microcontroller. It is not something yeah, you would call home and say, wow, mom, look what I found. It has date code 97 like all the major ICs. Anyway, a lot of I.O., but uh, not much flash, not much, much RAM, and only 10 bits ADC. That's a static RAM, 1 meg, 64 by 16. It's not really something very dramatic too. It's quite old stuff. 
So this is the most interesting IC chip I found there for that time period. 12 bit plus sine plus minus uh, with seven with eight channels multiplexed and self calibrating. And the whole thing is with SPI interface. That's not bad for that time. So this is the only interesting. There's a lot of analog stuff going on on this ECU. So it seems there are a lot of sensors. Well, I removed the PCB for an optical inspection. It's not really much to see on here. There's a little, a few high power resistors. Some current shunts, presumable. On the back side, there's not much either. A few comparators. But look what I found. Ta da! This is what happened when I applied probably 24 volts and a 12 volt rail. These are 14 volt MOVs. I'm, I checked it with a multimeter continuity tester, it is uh, dead short, and it shorts, of course, down to ground. So probably this is the reason why it is not working. Here the thing removed. I ordered from Mauser. This thing is, has a dead short. I checked again for any other shorts or any other problems, optical problems. There's nothing, there's just that. Okay. When it, when the move arrives, I will put it inside and we'll see what happens. The magic of internet, ta-da, moves arrived. Took two of them, just for sure. Let's put them in the, in the place of the old damaged one. Some more detail on the decoupling of the connector pins. This looks really good. Look. Very, very interesting. Made on both sides. Yeah, the environment in a tractor or in any automotive is not very healthy. A lot of noise, a lot of spikes, a lot of everything. By the way, if you like what you see, if you like my videos, if you like my content, press the like button, please, and subscribe to the channel. This would help a lot the channel to grow. Here you can see Pectron 2005. The design is much older, um, but it's still used at least till 2005. Okay, let's put it together. Everything inside again. In the box, the box is nice. Yeah, it's like every M. 
ECU that I know, but this one is a lot of a lot bigger, with a lot of real estate, empty real estate. But and look at the amount of in and out connectors. That's wow. So I tried a few other things, checked for shorts, checked it optically. Looks okay. So did I repair it? I don't know. Probably. We will test it. We will give it to my colleague, let them test it. And let's see what happens. That was it for today. Something a little bit different. Please subscribe my channel and press the like button. Wish you happy holidays. And thank you for watching. Cheers, guys.